The Society Fang for MMA Fight Corner with Kenny Florian, former fighter, analyst, and also presenting tonight, but most importantly, nominated for Personality of the Year. So how do you feel going in here tonight, the World MMA Awards being nominated? Uh, it's cool, man. You know, I, I love the fact that, uh, you know, we have an award show for um, everyone involved with, with the sport. And, um, you know, I think that uh, sport's been so well established now. I think it's real cool that we get something like that. I'm not really so excited about, you know, my award or anything like that, but uh, it's it's just fun to be a part of it and, and come here and celebrate all the great mixed martial arts that we have, and we had an awesome year, so, yeah. You work with some great personalities yourself there. You're uh, right alongside uh, Chael Sonnen, yeah. Rashad Evans, also Daniel Cormier. Those two have to fight, and Chael just had to fight Rashad. Yeah. What's the ambiance like going around the office working with those guys and lately with the fights that have been matched up for them? It's tough. I always feel torn anytime two uh, friends of mine are going to fight each other. I always feel like I'm kind of caught in the middle. It's almost like being friends with a couple and then they break up and you're kind of in the middle of it in some ways but uh, yeah you know they've been you know they've been handling it very very well I think both those guys are very professional just like Chael and Rashad I think they handled it, handled it pretty well but uh, thankfully I don't have to deal with any of that fighting former you know or fellow analysts and all that stuff it must be tough for those guys and and they've handled it very well and Chael right now is overseas. He's in Brazil filming The Ultimate Fighter with some bad blood between Vanderlei. Have you been able to speak to him at all? A little bit. Uh, I've been, you know, I talked to him maybe once a week, uh, and he says it's been it's been pretty crazy over there. And uh, yeah, I guess there was a little fight that that went down down in Brazil. But um, I think things have kind of calmed down a little bit, and hopefully it has. You know, hopefully they don't uh, go out there and fight again before the fight. I think they're looking forward to. Uh, to the big night, and I think we all are because of it. I think the fans really enjoy that bad blood. I think it's uh, I think it's good to have in some ways, but you know, any time you, you go out there and start fighting outside of the, the cage, it's not a good thing. But you know, they have a history there, so yeah, yeah, they have a history for sure. Uh, if you have to take one fight this year and call it fight of the year, there's quite a few nominated. Yeah. Which would your pick be? You know, honestly, I, I think the Alexander Gustafsson and John Jones fight. I think that was uh, a very technical fight. I think the stakes obviously were extremely high fighting for, for the belt at 205. And uh, I think they really raised each other's level. And I think for a long time, people wanted to see John Bones really tested. Uh, they wanted to see him hurt to see how he would come back. And he responded uh, brilliantly. I mean, the guy, it's even scarier for everyone at 205 because not only is he technical and talented uh, and all the, those athletic traits that he has, but he's tough as nails as well. And he proved that. So. And now he has another and test. We get, yeah, and hopefully we get a rematch this year, too. Well, we'll see. He's, as you said, he has to get by uh, Glover Teixeira first, who's yeah. not easy at all. And then uh, Alex has Jimmy Manawa. So. Exa yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We can't forget about that. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I hope, also, like you, hope that we do get that rematch. And we appreciate your time very much. I know you've got a lot of people to speak to. My pleasure. Uh, have Thank a good one. Thank, Thank you. you.